thank Dr. Limely for inviting me and the faculty. Um, let me see if I can work this. <coughs> These are my disclosures. And uh, uh, because my Italian is not very good, uh, you can download uh, all of my slides at that uh, address, that web address, 10essentiali.com. Also, uh, my best-selling book, The Ten Essentials to Save Your Sight, I'm happy to say it's been translated into Italian. Um, the first foreign language translation, so I'm very happy to say that it's being translated in Italian. It's available too by going to that website. I love my wife. Second is Italian opera. How many here love Puccini? No one. How many here love Verdi? I hear that there's always competition, Puccini and Verdi, but I love um, Puccini. need help and many feel abandoned many doctors will say I'm sorry nothing else can be done uh, but this <coughs> Congress here is uh, very rejuvenating for me because we're learning uh, alternative treatments besides uh, surgery and traditional ophthalmology and I believe that uh, we really have to focus on nutrition and detox Dr. Cassaro uh, gave a very wonderful lecture on the importance of nutrition and exercise because no matter what our surgical technique is uh, or what therapy we do, we need good nutrition, improving oxygenation and circulation and reducing stress. Also, I have a passion for missions. Every month, my wife and I do one or two missions throughout the world, helping the blind, and these are people that are also abandoned and need our help. And please go to my website. We're looking for doctors to join us. If you have a heart to go help the unfortunate, please join us on a mission. I published an article in 2015 looking at uh, alternative treatments in chronic eye disease. And it was a three-day program. I think three days are very important because so many times we have a patient come to us for a one-hour consultation, and we're trying to get everything in in one hour. That when you have somebody with you in three days, you can educate them on nutrition, you can help them change their diet, you can do therapies to help them improve their vision. <coughs> the therapies used in this program uh, were nutrition, we trained their nutrition. Because so many people are nutritionally deficient, we need to do a uh, IV nutritional therapy called a Mars cocktail. Ozone therapy, maybe some of you have not heard of ozone, but one of the most prominent ozone doctors in the world, Dr. Viello Bacci from Vienna, wrote the classic book on ozone, and he feels very strongly that ozone should be used in the treatment of chronic eye disease. Syntonic light therapy, which is a 75-year-old treatment actually developed by eye doctors, and also microcurrent, which is becoming more and more popular in helping to rejuvenate the eye. This is the breakdown in the number of patients that I treated, 152 patients, 290 eyes. Most of them had dry macular degeneration, glaucoma, wet macular, adonis, but all of them respond to these therapies. And this is an overall summary of the results. You can see the majority of patients had a significant improvement of their acuity. Also, there was a significant improvement of contrast sensitivity. 
and also a significant improvement of uh, visual field expansion. So we need to begin with nutrition. Uh, Thomas Edison said that the doctor of the future would not give any medicine, but instead he would advise his patients in diet and the cause of prevention of disease. This is a breakdown of my Myers cocktail, which is a vitamin cocktail. I think so many patients are nutritionally deficient. We need to give them IV therapy. Uh, even by changing your diet and beginning to eat more healthy fruits and vegetables and eliminating toxic food, it may take three or four months before those changes are made in their body and IV is essential to help stimulate. These are some articles here that demonstrate the importance of uh, nutrition. Uh, the second one, uh, deals with uh, the elevated lead in terms of cataracts, and unfortunately, elevated lead is very common in our society because of leaded gasoline in the past, leaded pencils, leaded paints, etc. Ozone is a very important therapy, and here's the book by uh, Dr. Bocci from University of Siena. And interestingly, uh, two years ago, the World Ozone Congress was held in Rome, and I was fortunate enough to be a keynote speaker talking about the benefits of ozone therapy in the treatment of chronic eye disease. This is a review article written by Dr. Bocci, and all of this will be in the download if you go to that URL. Uh, another, the mechanism of ozone. It lowers viscosity, uh, increases oxygenation, etc. Also, it interestingly, increases oxygen utilization. Methods of administration. I like to empower <laughs> patients. And rectal insufflation, I think, is one of the best ways of administering ozone, but it can be done IV. Topical ozone, wonderful for the treatment of dry eyes and chronic inflammation. Uh, light therapy. Um, many of you are not familiar with light therapy, but these are two reference articles uh, talking about the benefits of light therapy in the treatment of chronic eye disease. I published an article looking at light therapy in the treatment of glaucoma. Interestingly, in 1947, in the American Journal of Ophthalmology, which is a peer-reviewed journal, there were two articles published on the benefits of light therapy in the treatment of glaucoma. Light therapy helps balance the body. You have the parasympathetic here, the sympathetic here. In order for the body to heal, the body has to be in harmony. Too often our patients are in the sympathetic state, we gotta get them out of the sympathetic state. Often our patients have been in the sympathetic state for so long, they have adrenal fatigue and they're stuck in the parasympathetic. We have to bring them in balance, and that's one of the keys in syntonic light therapy. Light has an effect on the atomic level, cellular, hormonal, and autonomic system. Uh, in the cellular level, Dr. Tina Karu, a Russian, has published a book on light therapy in the treatment of chronic disease. Uh, light stimulates uh, uh, hormonal products. Interestingly, the chor choroid is probably one of the most vascular structures of the eye. And when patients look at this light with syntonic light therapy, every hemoglobin molecule is being impregnated with the light and travels throughout the retina. Uh, the autonomic level, which I think is the most important, we have to balance stress. Microcurrent. There have been several uh, talks already on microcurrent. Microcurrent improves blood flow, stimulates cellular activity, can remove scar tissue, reduce inflammation, have a neuroprotective effect. These are some articles here published, but interestingly, the article by Chen, I find to be very, very significant he showed that low current below 500 microamps stimulates cellular activity by up to 500%, up to 500%. When you get above 500 microamps, it will actually reduce cellular activity. So most of my treatment is below 500 microamps, and I have found the less current you use, the better results. 
Um, microcurrent has been shown to be beneficial in terms of having a neuroprotective effect. This was a study done in rats, surgically induced glaucoma. Uh, rats that had uh, microcurrent has let less damage to their optic nerve. Uh, hypotension can be induced using microcurrent, but I have found microcurrent has very little therapeutic effect in glaucoma because most of the patients that we see have high pressures, they're taking pharmaceutical drops already. There seems to be no additional effect. Where microcurrent can benefit the glaucoma patients is that it helps improve the circulation to the optic nerve, it helps improve cellular activity of the optic nerve. Um, this is an article here showing that microcurrent can have a beneficial effect in retinitis pigmentosa. Uh, in all the categories that I have treated, in my experience, microcurrent seems to have the best effect in retinitis pigmentosa. Many of us are interested in stem cells. This is a review article demonstrating that microcurrent can improve the function of stem cells, help multiply the stem cells, help improve their viability. Also, there's some evidence that microcurrent can act as a homing device, help guiding those stem cells into the particular tissue that you're treating. Uh, recently, I've been doing um, ERGs, and I'm getting very positive results with uh, changes in the electroretinal gram after uh, microcurrent. These are some articles that have been published showing that microcurrent can be beneficial in the treatment of eye disease. Uh, recently, I published uh, an article looking at microcurrent stimulation in the treatment of three Stargardt siblings. Uh, they all had a dramatic improvement after a three-day treatment, and the effect has continued and increased at the six-month interval. And this article is available uh, in my that download link. Uh, those of you that might be interested, I'm giving a, a course tomorrow on frequency-specific microcurrent. I hope to see you there at the course. Here is a photograph of our clinic in Florida where patients come for three to four days. And I really think that that is critical. We need the patients to spend time with us. We need patients to be educated, to understand these therapies. So when patients come here, my goal is to educate them, train them in using microcurrent. So they go home, they understand how they're going to change, need to change their diet, they understand how to use the microcurrent and maybe the ozone therapies. So my book is now available in Italian, uh, The Ten Essentials to Save Your Sight. Uh, go to www.tenessentiali.com and you can also download a link uh, to my slide presentation and both of the published articles that I talked about. So it's a, a real pleasure to be here speaking to you and I hope to be able to talk to many of you individually uh, during the con Congress. Thank you very much. Grazie. Grazie, Dr. Conrad. Allora, eh, adesso parliamo del nistagmo. Eh, abbiamo invitato Paolo Nucci che 